When reballing a BGA chip, you have two options. You can use solder paste or solder balls. Solder paste is a bit messier. It can also form these little globules in between the different pads on a BGA chip. Um, solder balls tend to be a little bit more precise, but require more work because if you miss getting a ball in one of the holes in a stencil, you have to manually go in with tweezers and put each ball in each one of the holes. Um, with solder balls, I use uh, an Amtec Flux, um, which is uh, N as in Nancy, C as in Charlie, dash 559, dash V as in Victor, 2, dash T as in Tom, F as in Frank. You can get it off of Amtec's website. Um, here I'm going to show you how to reball a BGA NAND chip using solder balls. I'm going to demonstrate reballing a Micron MW657 LGA152 NAND chip with a stencil and hot air rework station for data recovery when swapping PCBs. First, clean any solder off the NAND chip using solder wick. Then, using Kapton tape to secure the NAND chip, align the pads on the NAND chip with the holes in the stencil. Using gloves so the solder balls won't stick to your finger, gently spread solder balls onto the stencil and lightly spread them around with your finger. Next, manually add solder balls using tweezers where solder balls are missing from the stencil. Using tweezers, press down lightly on the stencil while applying hot air until the solder balls melt. After the solder balls solidify, but the stencil is still a little hot, remove the Kapton tape and NAND chip. Inspect the NAND chip for any missing solder balls. If everything looks good, flux the chip and heat up the solder so that all the balls dome over the pads. Now clean the chip using some isopropyl alcohol and you're all set.